Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. Many years ago, the father of psychiatry, Sigmund Freud, noticed that in the normal development of a human being, there are stages, stages of development of a young child. And he equated those stages with nerve sensitivity. In the beginning, the young child's most sensitive nerve endings are in the mouth. And he called this the oral stage. And this is why babies, no matter what you give them at that stage, put everything in their mouth. That's the only place where sensation is acute. After a year and a half or so, the sensation shifts and all of a sudden they become aware of their anus and rectum for the first time. And this is when a lot of attention is paid to toilet training. And before that sensitivity is there, there's no point in toilet training. After that, the baby becomes sensitized to the genitals, even at that young age, three and four, five. And there's a lot of sensitivity to the genitals. Little children are doing their version of masturbating. The reason he pointed this out was because he noticed that in the healthy development of the child, all of these stages are allowed for, that they're not intervened against. But if the caregivers add their own judgments and their own discomfort with any of these stages and admonish the child, are upset when the child has soiled its diapers, are upset with the things that the child has put into its mouth, are upset when the child is sitting on its little foot and rocking back and forth or playing with itself. If they intervene and block the child from the natural expression of these things, what he found was that the child becomes fixated in other words, it's harder to move on from that level. And it shows up later in life during puberty and in our choice of mate and in the things that we're attached to and the things that we are obsessed with. It has to do with not just the stages we went through, but where were we blocked? Where were we not allowed to fully express ourselves as natural beings? It's the blockage of the emotions attendant to these stages that causes problems. Likewise, as an adult, what we've learned to do is we become a little bit afraid of sensation in the body, any kind of sensation because sensation is what happens when emotions are evoked. And these emotions are suppressed, perhaps for our own belief in what we need to survive, go along to get along. Things could be worse if you expressed your anger or your sexuality or your interests and inclinations. And so instead of expressing emotions and allowing them to be and accepting them and letting them transform into something else, we suppress the emotions and what we're left with is judgments. When we're afraid, we don't express our fear. We judge the person who made us afraid and become on the lookout for people who are overbearing or 
what we would call perpetrators and we make them wrong and we make ourselves wrong for all the things and all the emotions that we are afraid of. And this is all because we were taught that it's not okay to have your feelings and to express them. This is why judgments block your development. Judgments hold you in check. Judgments keep you in the past instead of in the present. The answer is to allow the emotions that you feel to be expressed verbally. And if not to the person, if you don't feel like you can express them responsibly, if there's a buildup of anger and sadness and fear, then let yourself go into nature and express them there. Let yourself express them in the shower. Let these feelings come out without judgment. Release your judgments by allowing yourself to feel what you've never let yourself feel before. And if you can make noise while you do it, that's even better. But every judgment is blocking an emotion. And these emotions want nothing except to be expressed, allowed, forgiven, and transcended so that you can be present to the energy that you are, to the God that you are, to give full expression to all of life without blockage and especially without judgment. It's difficult to give up judgment without getting in touch with the emotions that the judgments are suppressing. Let yourself feel them. Forgive yourself for having them. And let it all go. What you will open is a wider channel to receive all of the love that you are in all its excitement and all its subtlety. Be patient with yourself. Spend some time in nature and let these feelings do what they're meant to do. Be expressed in the present and then forgotten. I love you very much and I'll speak with you again soon.